Hey! Wolf gang dying, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pound, plus news and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top, boy. Brick by brick, we got a bill. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang dying, you know it's real. Never chill. No. Sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest build inside 2K. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Dom back here with another banger, man. And for today's video, I got y'all with a Clay Thompson type build. I'm talking a two way sharp, a perimeter lock type build that's gonna knock shots down. But the first thing we gotta talk about is me hitting that 1K, man. I appreciate y'all's support so much. Y'all held me down. Y'all was liking, subscribing, all that stuff, man. And I really appreciate that. And for that, I mean, I hope y'all saw the new intro. Let me know how you feel about that, man. New logo, I kind of like redid the whole channel just to make sure that I'm giving y'all something new. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make sure I, 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 I was doing something right for y'all boys, but all right. Let's go ahead and get into this actual build. This will be a shooting guard, and it is one of those glitch builds, so if you don't know how to do a glitch build, check out something on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I got the 6.9 on there. But for this, I'm going 6.9, but the wingspan 6.8. You know, this is the normal glitch build, but because I did it how I did it, I could go back to 6.8. Like, look, look at this. I can go 6.9, 6.8. You know what I'm saying? It, once you mess the builder up, you glitch it one time, it pretty much stays glitched and you can just start doing all types of stuff that's different. But yeah, we're going 6'9", 185, 6'8 for the wingspan and the slight body type because I can't change it. Um, I don't know why that happens, but yo, it literally won't let me change it from slight, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to get right into the build. Um, with the close shot, we will be going with a 70, even though it will be like a perimeter lockdown type of player, it will still have some very decent finishing, man. I don't want y'all to have to miss out on nothing just because of the type of build it is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, the driving layup, we're going to put that to an 80. Driving dunk, we're going with an 84. Standing dunk, we're going to leave that alone. Now, it can't be a two-way sharp if this shooting ain't elite bro so for the shooting i'm going all the way up with the mid-range and i'm gonna do the same thing with the three-point shot just look at those badges so far for one we get 32 of them which is already crazy but look at all gold all hall of fames so this gives you a lot of wiggle room with how you want to play this build it doesn't get circus but i don't even think you need circus to hit the moving threes consistently which is kind of crazy considering that this game you know, it's so badge based, but I do not think you need those badges. I be hitting them without circus all the time. Now for the pass accuracy, come on, man. You know exactly what we doing, man. We are team 85 on this channel. You know, same, same stuff, different day. You know what I'm saying? Same Don, different logo, intro, all that other stuff, man. I'm just trying to make sure I provide y'all with a, a better service, man. Uh, the ball handle, we do want, we want those dribble moves, man. We want those dribble moves. So with that being said, we're going with an 80. The speed with ball, go ahead and max that bad boy out. A 75, while it isn't like blazing fast, it is fast enough. I mean, the build 6'9", bro. I mean, it's 6'9". It's pretty fast. You got handles. I mean, it really comes with it all. If, if you just want me to keep it a buck with you. Now, for the perimeter defense, we're going to max that out at an 89. The steal, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to max it out at a 77. The block. We're going to take the block up to a 79. Offensive rebound, we're going to leave that alone, but we will be taking a defensive rebound up to a 65. And I went a little too far, so I got to take the offensive rebound back down to a 35. Now for the physicals. I ain't skimp on the physicals, and I, and I never will. You know what I'm saying? Not on the physicals. So the speed, we're going to go with an 80. An 80 is fast for a 6'9 build. Just trust me on that. An 80 is pretty fast for a 6'9 build. And the strength, we're going to put that all the way up. I do want to make sure this build has some strength. Now, for the vertical, because we do, we can get those like minimum contact dunks, you want to make sure that you put the vertical at least up to a 75. And, you know, just with being a lockdown, you do want to be able to get up off your feet quick, you know what I'm saying, to kind of like defend some of those shots. And yeah. And look at that. This is the build right here. 16, 
32, 23, and 16. Now, if you want to make this more of that like perimeter lockdown type of build, make sure you take those extra badges you got from Rebirth or whatever and um, put it on those on those defensive badges. It'll help a lot. You don't you definitely don't need any more shooting. Or at least I don't think so. 32 badges should be enough for anything you want to do out there as far as shooting goes. Especially because you don't get uh, circus threes. Um, you're not getting chef, mismatch expert. Wouldn't even make sense on this build. You 6'9, bro. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And I'm going to show you some of the takeovers we can get. So we do get shot creating. Um, we get uh, sharp shooting, of course. Playmaking, because we do have quite a bit of it. And lockdown. Now, if this was me, now this, you know, if this was me, I'm either going limitless range or spot up from one. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go with. Uh, spot up and uh perimeter badge drop for the second because i do still want to play some defense uh extreme clamps isn't a bad look but i do like perimeter badge drop just a little bit more but make sure you make your takeovers match your play style because i mean we ain't the same person you know what i'm saying now got that two-way sharpshooter shades of clay thompson Cade cunningham and rip Hamilton, man. Now, all right, we're going to go ahead and test the build so I can show you some of the badges that I would put on, you know, if I was building this build to go to war. Now, all right. So first thing you want to do, you want to put a slithery on, definitely. Posterizer, you want to have that on, and limitless takeoff. Now, for the rest, it is completely up to you. Now, I'm not even going to put them on because, honestly, at this point, I probably don't even need any more badges. Uh, I guess I'll put it on a strippable. And um, I'll put it on Miles and House, uh, strippable. I mean, at the shooting guard position, you being 6'9", you might get put at the 3 or even the 4, but you'll be straight no matter what. I gave the build plenty of defense. You got block in in case you need to do that. You'll, you'll be all right. Now, with blinders, we can go with gold. And, with, and that's enough to make sure that you can do what you need to do. If you plan on dribbling a lot, stop and pop on this build actually would go crazy. But no pressure, man. I ain't gonna pressure y'all into it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would do it. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and throw Sniper on Hall of Fame, of course. Hot Zone Hunter, need that on gold. Uh, Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, those are both must. Uh, slippery Off Ball, I like to have that on my Off Ball builds. Corner Specialist, I don't think you need that. Not with a three that high. You would be all right. But I do want Limitless Spot Up on. And I guess I'll throw uh, Stop and Pop on because this build is a dribbler. And for the last one, I just put on Green Machine. Um, another way you could set up these badges, if you are getting a lot of shots, consider Volume Shooter, man. It's not bad if you're getting a crazy amount of shots. Uh, now, for the playmaking badges, you know, we got to do Bullet Passer, Quick First Step, Hyperdrive, um, Unpluckable, of course. Handles for days, because if I made this build, I would be dribbling. Um, glue Hands is on Gold. And then for my last three, I'm going to go with tight handles on silver. Now, like I said earlier, this is where I would put all those extra badges at. I'm um, definitely going with clamps on gold, interceptor on silver, intimidator on silver. Like I said, this build could be anywhere from the two to the four. So I think box would probably be a good investment as well as rim protector. Off ball pest, we're going to put that on. And then for my last badge, I'm going to put that on tireless defender. I know you're probably thinking, bro. You left out, chase down. Nah, I didn't, man. Those, those would be where my extra badges would come in. I got seven of them, so that'll bring that badge category up to a 23. And, uh, yeah, it'll definitely be working for me. But, yeah, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one, man. It has been your boy, Don, and I'm up out of here. Let me know what y'all think about the new intro, man. I'm, you know, messing around trying to create more, you know what I'm saying? Trying to come up with, like, a community name. I'm thinking, like, oh, the Wolf Pack or the Pack. Or I might just call y'all the gang, man, because, you know, you know how we get down. We moving like a gang out here. But, yeah, I, I will catch y'all boys in the next one. It is your boy down and up out here. Peace. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Guess that's why the 